Okay. So I've brought up Wayland before in a couple different areas or a couple times before, once or twice maybe. And I've shown off like I think my river rice that I came up with that's kind of still like in flux. I haven't gone too much into Wayland and like fully committing to river. But that's because of some things that I'm still somewhat lacking. And that was some of the functionality that I didn't see quite see in River just yet. And some of the status bar issues, I believe, if I remember correctly, that I was having. The other thing was that River's layout, I was having troubles figuring that out because I'd install River Cairo and it just was not working. And I wanted to be able to do that monocle view because it's kind of a part of my workflow in different... It's a part of my workflow. So then as I was going around looking, I found another Wayland compositor, and that's DWL, which is basically DWM but for Wayland. And it had all the layouts. It had tags. And it had the layouts like I was looking for and the monocle that I was looking for as well, which was, again, a big important thing to me. So now I can, I've got a few patches set up and in it in the current version 0.4 that I've only applied. And there are still a few more that I'm looking for, so I haven't gone fully to DWL. But it's a big step in the right direction and there's still some issues that I've run into that some of the patches that are for are for older versions, so I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. But basically, I've got a pretty basic oh, uh, status bar, and it is DWLB that I'm using as a status bar, and then some blocks for my status updates. So if I pull up, let's go with Fire Dragon. So... Again, it's got the tags, so each of my monitors are set differently. So, yeah, so I've got the status bar here, and it's, I've still got a couple things that I'm going to add to it, but for the most part, it's got most of the things that I am normally used to, especially with, oh, coming from awesome. So, there's that, and then I have streamed from DWL a cup once, and there were some issues that I ran into with it. So if I go and I open, let me go to Prime. Prime run, open MW, and I pull that up. So the status bar disappears, which I believe, no, I didn't have an issue with previously. So the interesting thing is if I load it up, um, what we get is my mouse is inverted still. So when I move the mouse to the move my mouse down, and then I move it up, then I move it, okay, then I move it to the right, and then I move it to the left, we run into some interesting issues. And then on top of that, when I leave, the, the mouse leaves the balance of the window, it doesn't use like relative movement really to do stuff. So my mouse can leave the window and now all of a sudden I'm like bound by the limits of the box or the game window. So that is kind of like a downside that I see and I was looking at the GitHub about it and they're not patching, oh... The basically cursor grabbing into it because oh it's a gaming only feature that's needed for only gaming when there are a couple other uses like CAD and modeling that could use it as well or game development but oh other than that that's really I think the only issue that I've really come into with it other than that everything else has been just fine so far with my use cases I'm still working out like getting the gaps because I like my gaps. So, so far, this is what I've got. If I bring up my thing. Um, 
Yeah, and then, oh, Ubersug doesn't work because I have no X window open to display in. So I could actually open ST, and it would be just fine. Maybe. Let me double check. Uh, dupe, yeah, it'll be fine. Now we'll get previews. It's just being weird. But, so if I go down to, where was it? Projects, GitHubs. So in my DWL um, folder, I, I did clone DWL in order to do some of this stuff. So I haven't quite pushed it up to my personal DWL repo. But I do plan on it once I figured out, which is probably a bad way to do it. But yeah, so I've got, let's see, I don't think I applied bottom stack because it's for an older version. I do have auto start patched in. Um, cycle layouts is patched in. Um, I do not believe I did per tag. And then the point patch is not patched in. Or might not have been. And then make desktop I could not patch in. So what make desktop does is it makes a desktop file so you can use it in a display manager. Per tag basically sets per tag layouts so you can have each tag have their own layout which when i think about it i think i actually did patch in maybe um cycle layouts lets you cycle through the layouts so you can go to the next or the previous one so if i go what was it mod control and comma you can see that my layouts cycle through sort of so yeah and then auto start just adds an auto start section and starts up auto start programs from the get-go. And then you've got the bottom stack, which is more layout stuff, which didn't quite work out when I tried either to patch it in initially. And then, so you can make your config.h, and this is what mine looks like so far. So I have recolored one or two things, maybe. If, maybe not. Um, but... There are quite a few things that are commented out because they, I couldn't quite get them to work, like smart gaps and monocle gaps just yet. My auto start starts up Pipewire. That's really about it. And WPaperD. So WPaper... Okay, sorry. I haven't configured LF to open up everything in NVIM. But so Pipewire, WPaperD is the wallpaper engine. I have it. I'll show how I have it set. Because I use it in Hyperland as well, in that one. This is the default rules that they have. I haven't changed anything for my emulators just yet, which I normally do. Oh, I did change around some of the keybinds. You can map, oh, do different configurations for mouse and touchpad input. So there is that to keep in mind in left-handedness and middle button emulation. So if you or someone that has a really, really, really old mouse with only two buttons on it. This lets you emulate a middle button by holding both the right and left click. Um, let's see. Most everything has to do with the mouse stuff and touchpad and acceleration stuff that way. Mouse button mapping or touchpad mapping for taps. Your, let's see, do, 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 your tag keys definition. Let's see, terminal and menu command are different from what they are by default. I have looked at a couple different menu programs, but yeah. So I've replaced Firefox with Chromium in the browser spawn. And then I did have to change a couple things like... Oh, mod key D or super D would bring up the menu instead of like super P because I have it set as super D in basically everything else. Let's see the layout setting switching, and then here's our cycle layouts, which are added. Um, and I think that's most everything. I haven't really added too many programs to the key bindings just yet. I may try something like SWHKDE to do that instead. 
but most everything is pretty much default other than when I was first running it, I had to change the mod key to the logo key because by default it was alt and I'm like, why isn't my super key working? And it was because I was being a brainlet and had mod key set as alt instead of super. Okay. So DWLB really doesn't have much to it. You don't have much configuration you do with it directly. But if I go down to some blocks, which is again, the status bar program that I'm using, this is, so the blocks.def.h is where it pulls the blocks.h file from. And you can see that I've got a few basic commands running. And these are basic scripts that I've, basically stolen from other places and modified as I needed to in order to make them work. So the weather custom is basically pulls up the weather for my area. The volume status basically pulls up, I believe it's the pipe wire. Oh, volume information and puts that out. And then the battery of course does the battery stuff. So these are the only ones that I have in here. I still have to work around messing around with the disk space and a couple others in order to get my full bar because I like to be able to see how much disk space I have left on my drive, even though it's like 50 to 60 gigs currently. And I hope to increase that to that plus two terabytes soon, but that is neither here nor there. <laughs> and that let me w paper d where was that oh wait it's not in here it's in here okay so this is what my WPaperD looks like. It pulls from my same wallpaper papers folder as Fed does, and the duration is set to every 10 minutes. Pretty basic. You just install WPaperD, create WPaperD directory in your config directory or wherever your config files are located, and then output.conf and do that. You can separate it by... Oh, output and change what wallpaper goes where. But for my case and how I have it set up, it's easier to do default, which basically does whatever's connected is going to get this run on it. So that's my DWL rice, pretty much. Pretty well sorted and everything else and pretty basic. So yeah, I've still got, a, like I said, I've got a couple things to improve and work around with. But other than that, DWL is probably my definitive, like, Wayland compositor if I were to pick one. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description. Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.